and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well um, since I last saw you. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, so today is another event vlog. Hang on. Did you hear that? Um, I've just brought the boys in. It's rubbish weather for August. Thank you, little. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Yes, it's rubbish weather for August. Um, we've got a yellow warning for wind today, so I'm really hoping he's rubbing and distracting me also. Oh, getting all mixed up here. So, it's rubbish weather for August. It's supposed to be lovely sunshine, and it's not. We're going to Port Elliot today for their one-day event um, with BE. It's the regional qualifiers for Babington and Bramham. Um, I'm not doing that, I'm just doing the standard competition, obviously, because I've only competed in one, so I wouldn't have even had any qualifications anyway. Um, so, I've got late times, again, I bloody hate late times. So I'm on, not as late as last time, I'm on at two o'clock, 10 to four and 20 past four, something like that, I think. Um, so not ridiculous times but it means that i can get him ready this morning but i i hate doing things like this i'd rather get everything ready the night before pick up and leave on the day of the show they also changed the um the day to just the saturday instead of running over the two days because i don't think they've had enough entries because i know the um riding club championships are on as well so i'm sure people who would have come um come to port elliot have gone up to Swaycliffe for that, so it's understandable. But one thing I do know is that I much prefer venting on a Sunday to a Saturday because I can't add, I don't feel like I have enough time to get myself um, prepared on a Friday to get ready on a Saturday. I mean, luckily I've got time. I'm not on early, so it wouldn't have been a rush yesterday. But yeah, I just prefer a, sun a Sunday. <laughs> so. Yeah, now I need to just get pickles bathed and what have you with platin. I haven't got the joys of Becky today, so me and Georgia are going to give it a go. I've got to pick up Zoe Ann because she's coming to help today as well. So, yeah, I'd better crack on with that. Um, I walked the course yesterday, so I will put that in now for you to watch while I get myself sorted. further ahead in time now. Georgia's back, she's started platting, she's doing a good job. I, um, been and got Zoe Ann. There's Zoe Ann. <laughs> um, I've loaded the truck as much as I think I've needed to. Um, that's about it. It feels like a bit of a rush job, I don't know why. All I know is I definitely don't like eventing on a Saturday if I've not had the Friday before. can definitely confirm that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the phone down carry on with this and probably see you when we get there now. We've arrived. Ralphie's full of it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm full of it. It's blowing a bloody hoolie up here and the parking's a right pain in the backside, but we've done it. Um, I've got an hour before I'm on, so to get him out in a minute and um, stud him up and stuff and hopefully he doesn't have the wind up his ass. 
Okay, so here I am back with a voiceover for the dressage. Um, even though the wind was absolutely ridiculous, he was so good, so I was so proud. So for our centre line and track left, we scored a seven with a comment of fairly straight, could be more forward. So that's fair enough. Um, HXF is changed to rain and working trot. I scored a seven. So we've started off quite consistent already, so I'm quite pleased. And then FA working trot, A half 20 meter circle right to X, I scored a seven. Um, no comments on any of those movements, but I'm pretty happy with a seven. Um, and then X was half a 20 meter circle left to C. Again, another seven, no comment. And then it goes on to between C and H, transition to working canter left. I scored a six, muddled transition, which is usually the case. And then at E, we're circling 20 metres, and I scored a 7.5, so I was happy with that. And then between K and A, transition to working trot, I felt like he didn't want to come back, but we got there before A, and I scored a 7 with a comment of fair balance, I think. And then we could repeat ourselves again. So we are at A, half circle, 20 meter circle, left to X, scored a 7. And then at X, we do the other way. I have a half 20 meter circle to C. I scored a 6.5, which said losing, losing impulsion over X, lacking bend. And then between C and M, canter right, 6, hollow and unbalanced to canter. And then B, 20 metre circle right. I scored an 8, an actual 8 for this circle. I was so impressed with him. And then between F and A, we're back to work in trot. And that was a 7. And then K, E, medium walk. Um, 6.5 could be steadier to contact, which is true because he's not always the most steady in the contact and then it was e b f a half 20 meter circle right with a free walk on a long rain i scored a seven with the comments being purposeful could have more swing so that's quite nice i thought she might have commented on him dropping his head more but obviously she was happy and then f a d medium walk is a 6.5 could be steadier to contact again obviously he's not very steady in medium walk in his contact but you can see he's nodding quite a lot there and then d working trot and g halt immobility salute and then leave the arena a free walk a long way where appropriate i scored an eight i mean imagine that scoring an eight for your center line which is super pleasing just on a little freeze frame for the judges' comments, which were pleasing tests, very calm and fluent, with super willing attitude. Paces developing freedom and suppleness, lost, lots to like, well ridden. So that's really nice. <laughs> um, so dressage is done. Um, Pickles was a good boy, I'm pleased to say. In the warm up, he was good, but he didn't, he was a bit naughty with his counter transitions. So I was a bit apprehensive, but it was good. Thomas has turned up now. He's looking thrilled to be here. <laughs> the wind is ridiculous. I think I've heard that in the show jumping, they've had to actually push the tree down that's in the middle of the arena because it was swaying. So I'm not sure how much of a delay that's going to put on for the rest of us waiting to go show jumping. I've got another hour before I'm due on, so hopefully they'll catch up. Um, so yeah, that's how we are now. I haven't watched the show jump, uh, not show jump, the dressage, but obviously I would have just put that in so you could have watched it and I would have given a voiceover so you'd have heard my thoughts then. Everything is very very delayed the wind is causing havoc and more trees are falling down everywhere um, the cross country is around the woodland so that's not ideal but I have just checked um, the live scores and <laughs> don't look at me like that <laughs> I'm not looking at him I've just, <laughs> I've just <laughs> checked the live scores and we got, what did we get? 31.3. 31.3, which is really good. And we're sitting in third place. So I'm going to take that as my little win today. And I've done a little screenshot to say that I was in third at some point. I don't even know if we are going to get to um, show jumping across country because, like I say, this weather is causing havoc. I think the um, marquee's down by the show jumping's blown over too. So... That's another delay. We've already waited over an hour to go and yeah. So this might be it for the vlog.
So, yeah. Think of you, I want you coming back I remember when we were staring at a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back Call me when you want, maybe I can take it on
couldn't tell. It's now the next day. Um, once we had found out that actually it was all good to go show jumping and cross country yesterday, it was all sort of systems go, so there was no chance in like having any chit chat. But obviously, you would have seen um, that we did go show jumping and cross country. Um, it wasn't our finest, I will say, but I'm glad to say we did complete, which is an improvement from Launceston in a sense. I mean, we ended up on a score of 160.1, which is pretty ridiculous. Because <laughs> um, obviously the, there was 12 folks show jumping where he had to do that stupid spook at the tree to start with. And then that obviously caused me a load of time. And then cross country, he was very much the same with how much he was spooking. And he was spooking at all the other jumps, not his own. So I don't know what was in his head. Probably the wind was half of the issue. Um, and then obviously that caused us to have time as well. So yeah, the, it wasn't the best on paper as they say, but I'm glad that we completed and he was actually so well behaved for the day. You know, he he has been known in the past to be really um, like arrogant and bullshy, but he's been really, really sweet. So I can't fault him. Um, apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background. It's all, it's all on now to get everything washed ready for a new week. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm home now, and then, oh, I've lost my train of thought, hang on. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what I was trying to think of to say then, but it wasn't coming out. But yes, yeah, so obviously, I, after we finished cross country, with it being such a delay, we just sort of packed up and, and left, so I didn't have a chance to sort of talk about how how I felt the round and the day in itself went, but like I said, I was pleased, even though it wasn't like i say the best on paper he was still really good and in, in a sense it's an improvement from last time because we actually completed this time so i have entered our next one which is in a couple of weeks time which is back at launson i'm hoping to have a better round there this time obviously we retired at the hay cart last time and he obviously did stop at the one that was yesterday but that one wasn't really that he was stopping at it. it was more the fact he was spooking everything out so I'm hoping to you know not even think about that this time around and if it's earlier on in the course we might have a better chance of doing it but that's in a fortnight's time so we've got a bit, bit more time to keep his fitness up and improve um, and then after that there's just one more that I'm planning on entering and that'll be me done for the season one day event wise um, there is a, a hunter trial I'm thinking of taking Dylan to, um, but that's in October, and um, and I've got a bit of a holiday in September, so Pickles will be having some downtime. So yeah, that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, like I say, you get it all real from me. There's no fakeness, and I'll show only show you the good bits because there's plenty of ugly bits to show you. And yeah, if you do like what what you see if you could give me a like and comment if you want to but you know subscribe to see more of the antics that unveils with me and i will see you again for the next one thank you for watching bye yeah.